I'm a developmental psychologist, so that means I study children and we are specifically interested in how they develop cognitively. Here at the Notre Dame Institute for Advanced Study, I am dedicated to a project that looks at the differences between humans and other animals. What makes us um, uniquely human is a certain form of sociality, a certain form of being together in the world, and a way of relating to others. We are currently conducting an experiment with young children at the preschool here at the University of Notre Dame. So the theory is that uh, children learn to take other people's perspectives or take specific perspectives before they are actually able to confront these perspectives on the same thing. These are actually two different developmental steps in their um, maturation. The methodology that I have been using in my work is interdisciplinary. I basically combine empirical studies with young children with philosophical ideas and insights mainly stemming from philosophy of mind. I've actually always had an interest, a very vested interest in philosophy and I have tried to bring together insights from both developmental psychology and philosophy of mind in particular because these uh, two branches fit together very, very well uh, because both philosophers and psychologists are really interested in the same questions, just their approach to these questions is uh, somewhat different, more conceptual analysis in philosophy and more empirical working out of things in, in um, psychology. What really makes this institute so unique and special is the fact that it gives people the chance of getting together with others in a small, very well-informed, very well-educated group of people and talk about their work from a broader perspective. And I think that helps putting your own work back into perspective because we are trained to be specialists and I think it's important to keep the mindset of a universalist at the same time. While here I led a Templeton colloquium on the question of becoming human, we uh, brought together philosophers, psychologists and anthropologists and the question that we tackled was how can we tell the story of becoming human in a way that um, suits or accords to the scientific standards because you're basically constructing two different kinds of stories that are being told. One is the ontogenetic story, that means how do we become human in our lifetime? And the phylogenetic story of becoming human. When and how did we split off from our common ancestors with the apes and what were the milestones or steps along the way that made us who we are today? This workshop was a great success. It has greatly informed uh, my own way of thinking about the beginnings of humanity and the development of humans and the common origins uh, with other animal species. So there has been a very fruitful exchange. I've written two papers on this project. Of one of these papers, I'm the single author, and the other paper I wrote together with a philosopher with a colleague from the University of Leipzig. What I take away from, from this year here at the NDIAS is definitely a number of very important uh, uh, points of contact and some very important collaborations with people in philosophy here. What I hope to take back to my home institution of the University of Southern California is a certain spirit, a spirit of working together in close collaboration and uh, sticking around for important and deep conversations to not lose those big questions out of sight while you're drilling a hole as a specialist deep into one specific uh, topic. I really do think that uh, people here at the University of Notre Dame are particularly good at bringing those people from different fields together.